Hey guys, Proteus here. Welcome to Star Traders Frontiers. Uh, this is going to be a Let's Play series. Um, and uh, guys, if you haven't played this game, it is super cool. If you found this video and you're thinking about buying it, um, I don't know, I have nothing but praise to say about this game. Um, it is made by a smaller uh, developer, uh, it's the uh, Trace Brothers, and um, I, I don't know, I'm constantly super impressed with the amount of content that they're still putting out in this game, and not just that, but um, they are incredibly active in the community, you know, they're always responding to questions on the forums, and um, it's just, it's really cool to see. Um, but let's uh, let's jump into the game here. Uh, we are going to be running a assassin character. Um, our attributes are going to be 22 strength, 30 quickness, 20 fortitude, 20 charisma, 30 wisdom, 14 resilience. Uh, for skills, we have four tactics, four command. It's going to help us out in our ship combat. Um, speaking of ship combat, we are flying the Eternum Vendex, um, so that's going to really carry us through the early game ship combat. Um, and then for our contacts, we went with the ex-bounty hunter and the court assassin. Uh, the bounty hunter offers weaponry and the court assassin offers combat armor. So super useful. Um, I'm going to be able to get rid of my weapons locker early and that'll free up a component that I can, um, you know, I can use something a little more useful there. Um, and then, just in case you guys didn't know, the weapons locker, as far as I know, only go up to five. <laughs> now, the thing is, um, you can get uh, level seven weapons from contacts and level six armor. So, you'll be wanting to be getting rid of that weapons locker eventually anyway. Um, but it is nice to start off with contacts that so will let us do that. So, the captain is made... Um, the Arbiter is waiting for us. Let's set up our crew and um, kind of get, get started. I think the first order of business is giving Captain an eye patch. Go ahead and make him look cool. Venomous Blade is a really good talent. So we will take that. I'm just going to filter by leveling and I'm going to sort by job. Now for our Doctor doesn't look very doctorly, does he? I feel like that? Maybe with the armband? That way, like, you know he's a medic. Like, you're shooting and killing everybody. And then you see the guy with the armband, and you're like, oh, he's, you know. Yeah, let's go with that. Alright, uh, we'll get the doctor save here. Um... When I start my crew, I do like to get a lot of the saving talents. Um, it's going to kind of help us deal with the fact that our ship dice pools are so small. And if it sounds like I'm speaking a different language, maybe you haven't uh, looked into the game too much, maybe you've never played the game, um, the game is based on behind-the-scenes dice rolls, so things that will influence your dice are very good. So things like uh, skill saves, if we miss our dice roll, one of those skill saves will activate and let us uh, and pass it for us. Um, so, yeah, skill saves are great uh, talents to pick up if you're looking at your available talents and you're kind of like, eh, I'm not really going to use any of these. Um, picking up a skill save is always a pretty safe bet. So, crew dogs are done. We got two of the ship operation saves. We're going to get two electronic saves from our electronic technicians and uh, e-techs are super useful they have so many useful talents signature jammer is another one uh, signature jammer is fantastic uh, helps mitigate uh, reputation loss when you're out in the void we'll pick up a level of storm shielding and we're going to get a level of alert scanner on this tech um, now for this gunner, I think we're probably going to get 
two tactic saves with our gunners. And then that will allow us one boarding assault and one elusive barrage. And we are also going to get one bombardment. Kind of give us some options in our first couple of ship combat uh, chances. Alright, we are going to take the repair save here. Um, now that is two repair saves. Um, I'm probably going to be dismissing my engineer officer here and promoting one of my fighters. Uh, that's usually what I do unless, I don't know, unless I just have terrible fighters. But I don't, I've never had that happen. We are going to go with efficient route here. Um, thinking about it, though, that could probably wait till the next level up, but that's okay. We're going to take our second pilot save here, and then with our last pilot, we'll get evasive maneuvers. Uh, we're definitely going to want more copies of evasive maneuvers, uh, but we can absolutely get those a little later. Now, let's see. For my fighters... That soldier, he's got some pretty decent rolls there, huh? 25-24 on the Wisdom and Quickness. Um, not fantastic traits, though. Let's see, 2019. Again, traits not super impressive. 2120 with very unimpressive traits. God, all my fighters are durable, which is great, but I, I don't want to see, like, I think I jinxed myself when I said that uh, if I don't have great fighters. I am going to end up promoting this guy right here, though. Um, the quickness and wisdom is pretty high. Um, again, I, I'm not in love with his traits, but hopefully his last trait will be good. Uh, we'll probably go suppressing fire. And we're going to be getting rid of these fine folk here. So let's go ahead and land and take care of that. Also, we have a contact here. Our assassin is here. That's nice. Um, let's go to our crew. And... We can go ahead and dismiss these fighters here, these durable fighters. Hopefully they find work with another Star Trader. So they will not work for me. Let's go ahead and pick up our mission here. I don't think I can get an edict with them yet. I need 15 personal rep, or sorry, 15 effective rep. So more still song rep would do it for me. So what we're looking for are data cube missions, such as this one, uh, that are local. That way, while we're doing our initial setup and recruiting of crew, um, we can make a little bit of money along the way. All right. I did not promote my, uh, my soldier. I think I have to land to do it too. Gosh. Starting off strong as. Maybe he has to level up before he can promote? I don't remember. Let's see. Oh, that would be the issue. I never dismissed this guy. I landed to dismiss him and then I. Never actually did it. Alright. Go ahead and promote this guy right here. Spend that 2,500 credits on him because he's worth it. He's durable. I think he's durable. I don't remember. No, I, d I don't think he has. He's, uh... Oh yeah, he's durable. They're all durable. Alright. Go ahead and top off the gas that it took for us to land. 
and see where that uh, bounty hunter's at. Got these close. That's super useful. Oh, he's like super close. Man, this planet he's on sucks though. No medical facilities. That's unfortunate. All right. Do you think we're gonna recruit a bounty hunter? And let's see what missions he has for us. Again, we wanted a local uh, data cube mission. We didn't get it. Uh, local to the squadron, I mean. Um, but we will take the higher paying, shorter route escort mission. Go ahead and level up that bounty hunter too. We'll get the... Uh, the intimidation save and then we'll probably be getting blood game later blood game is super useful all right so looks like let's see. probably the same planet that our escort missions on no, it's not. Well, that's unfortunate. Let's see what else do we have? We have this one too, which is up closer to the Arbiter. So I guess we'll go over here and do this first. All right, and we are off. So you'll see on the right all those green boxes were uh, saving rolls that we missed, but those uh, saving talents um, helped us pass those rolls. Those red ones were obviously ones that we failed and did not have a save available for it. So go ahead and drop off our passenger. Made 7,000 credits, gained some rep. Uh, more importantly, we gained... Uh, some personal rep with our contacts. Uh, with, uh, with our plan to run these missions, it's definitely going to be a focus for us. Go ahead and meet at the spice table and hand over that data cube. Made about 9,000 credits, gained some rep, took five days. We have two level ups to deal with. Let's fix our filters. We're leveling. Our captain's going to be an assassin swordsman. Uh, kind of undecided on the third job. It's probably going to be a zealot. Uh, for our doctor, second job is going to be combat medic. Pretty strong combination there. Now let's go back to our contacts and hopefully they give us something up near where the Arbiter is, which is right here, we're right down here. Go ahead and land, pay wages, we are going to spice the crew up. And we're not going to repair yet. We shouldn't be seeing any combat. Not too worried. Alright, we got a data cube mission. Fantastic. That was the assassin. Let's see what the bounty hunter has for us. Go ahead and land, pay wages. And the bounty hunter hoping for a data cube mission. And he cannot give us that. How very disappointing. Alright, we will take the uh, escort mission from him. And commodity delivery. Let's see, 34 basic medicines. We can absolutely get those here.
Uh, one thing is I do plan on uh, getting rid of the cargo bay. Um, I'll use the fuel cargo pod. Gives you five cargo space and uh, a little bit of fuel. Um, and I'll probably put a uh, interrogation ward in my large slot in the Vindex. Um, having that intel generated is nice, as is having three spots for um, prisoners instead of, you know, taking making a prison cell and only having one. Captain we're with Bravery Line, it's a very, very solid talent. Um, and for our soldier, we're probably going to stick with soldier. I think we're going to go straight to soldier 8, which gives us full auto before thinking about his second job. And let's see. Uh, we're looking for a refinery, industrial, orbiter, orbital, high tech, or a tradeway zone, trade law 9 or less. So I think we can just go right, literally right next door, and uh, pick up the 34 basic medicine. We're gonna go ahead and bribe this guy right here. And, uh, don't want to deal with rep loss. I'm not always positive on what's gonna end up with rep loss or not. I think I can look at um, like the rumors tab there, uh, but uh, usually I just hit the button until things turn green because I'm not a smart man. Um, and speaking of not a smart man, I had already forgotten on why I came here. So, we can get 23 of the 34 that we need here. Go ahead and refuel. And I can probably go right here and get the rest, right? I think I need a total of 34. We'll get 11 more. Which brings our total to 34 basic medicine. And we will refuel and heal everybody. And now we will return to the bounty hunter and hope that he gives us a better mission, like a data cube mission. Maybe going to the same planet that we're already headed to. That would be nice. All right, we unloaded 34 basic medicine uh, to fulfill our promised delivery. We got paid 11,000 credits. We've completed our mission, We've gained some rep, We've gained some personal rep. He's gained some influence. It's taken us a week. So, you know what? Probably should have bought an edict before I picked up the last round of missions. So I don't think he'll give me anything good until I'm out of the Prove Your Charter phase. Alright, we have a look at that. Now we have two uh, one-way data cube missions. Uh, I can only take one, unfortunately, so I do have that escort mission already active with this contact. Let's see where this mission is taking us. Yeah, we'll go back, do this, and then we can get the bounty hunter up again and um, get that other data cube mission from him. That's what I'm thinking. Alright, we can transport case over. Got paid 7,000 credits, got some rep. Let's do our level ups real quick. Um, I'm thinking with our doctor slash combat medic, we're probably gonna go straight to five doctors so we can get the lifesaver talent. Um, we'll get cleansing purge here. This is a very solid single target heal. And let's see, pilot level up. I think pilot is going to go into smuggler now. Quartermaster leveled up. I think that he's going to be a commander. Mm, Quartermaster commander. Tactics and command will be nice. And commanders do actually have some uh, some nice uh, crew combat skills. 
I'll probably want to get him some levels in something that gives pistol. So it's probably going to be military officer. Alright. Back to the bounty hunter. Go ahead and refuel. Let's see. Gave us more data cube. Another data cube. Wow, words. He gave us another data cube mission, which is good. Um, go ahead and accept this first one. All right. And now we are off to this spot. And go ahead and run this data cube. refill and we will do the data cube handoff at the spice table. Alright, no trouble. 7,000 credits, rep, all good things. I'm tempted to go back to the uh, bounty hunter, see how we're doing on time. We've got 23 weeks for the Arbiter. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to the bounty hunter one more time. Just because I know he has that data cube mission sitting there waiting for us. And honestly, any missions we can do for him are good for us. That way we can um, get the uh, the weapons upgraded. and um, He's going to be our main mission provider, at least until we make some uh, new contacts. So anything we do for this guy is, is really uh, nothing but positive for us. So I'll just take this data cube mission. We will accept that. We will absolutely be your errand boy. Guy's got some gnarly hair and that handlebar mustache. It's impressive. Let's go back to our captain here. Take an assassin level. Got our soldier here. He's gonna stick with the soldier tree for now. Uh, let's see, probably take discipline, I think. No, he's going to be in the back row, so we'll go with burst fire. I was sort of thinking there is that uh, he shouldn't really be getting targeted much, right? So how strong is discipline if you're not getting targeted? Um, I say that and he's probably going to die to a sniper or something. My first crew combat. Alright, so let's head here to Short Jumper, which is hopefully the same planet as One Way Shipper. Don't think it is, I'm pretty sure it's the other way, it's over here. Oh, good, I was wrong. <laughs> yeah, guys, get used to that. I, uh, a lot of times I make assumptions and they are incorrect. All right, we handed over the sealed crate. We got 9,000 credits. We're gonna go deliver this person, person short jumper mission. Um, we will do a diplomatic meeting, get that wrap. Got 8,000 credits, got some bonus rep for doing the diplomatic meeting. Can heal everybody, pay everybody, etc. Um, I didn't spice them, but that's okay. Alright, let's get another level of doctor on the doctor. And let's get a level of smuggler. Smuggler's got a lot of really cool talents. Lots of cool talents. Um, I think we'll probably start with the stealth save. Um, we're going to want to pick up Dubious Handshake for sure. Hideout's pretty cool. Um, might be something we might end up picking up. But uh, the thing is, Smuggler also has a lot of ship encounter talents, and we're going to want those as well. 
kind of hard when you just want every skill in a uh, job tree. Alright, there's Cunning Slip for us. And... Goes to this other short jumper mission, I suppose. Gotta take him back to the bounty hunter. That makes sense. And we have ran into a spy, the independent spy. Um, we are definitely not going to do anything to the spy, as um, as you see, their attack accuracy outclasses our defenses. Their defenses outclass our accuracy, and they have better they have better everything. The boarding. <laughs> so we go ahead and retreat from these guys right here. Um, they're independent, so they don't matter. We only bribe people that have real factions backing them. Let's go ahead and land here and refuel. Go ahead and do... We'll actually do the uh, spice uh, for the morale. Morale was not topped off when we flew in. Let's see. With missions, it looks like I'm out of the... Uh, Proving your charter phase, which is good. Um, see if I can get a good mission from this guy. Okay. So I am starting to see these missions that require an edict, which are cool. However, I have not installed a prison cell yet. Um... So, yeah. Let's go ahead and do this one-way shipper and the Arbiter mission, and then uh, we'll probably wrap up. I think, uh, I think it's been a pretty good uh, chunk of time here, running all that stuff for the Bounty Hunter. So, let's see. The Arbiter, blah, 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 come aboard. I don't care. I've really, I've flown you so many times. I don't know if you guys are um, have played this game before, but it can be pretty difficult sometimes. So you're going to end up running this uh, starting mission quite a few times, most likely. Uh, we will do a public spectacle here so we can get the bonus rep with Steel Song. Let's see how the crew's doing. Soldier has leveled up. Fantastic. And let's just go ahead and drop this Arbiter off at the Prince. Um, yeah, I almost feel bad skipping through the mission text, just because, um, you know, some of the mission texts are pretty interesting. I wouldn't say that, you know, they're not literary masterpieces, right? But if you kind of use your imagination a little bit, you can kind of see the picture that they're trying to paint for you. And uh, I enjoy that kind of stuff. Um, something to be said about, uh, you know, the... Uh, you know, just the general feeling of the game and uh, the setting and all that kind of thing. So, <laughs> yeah, like I said, I feel a little bad skipping all of the text for you guys. Um, so I guess let me know if you want me to um, to not skip the text. Um, I know that... Uh, Right, if you haven't played the game, you're probably kind of interested in what they're saying. Or maybe you're not. Maybe you're trying to be spoiler-free. So, yeah, I guess I don't know. So, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you want me to do there. Now we're going to go another level for the soldier. He's doing pretty well. And let's uh, talk to the prince here. I don't think I'm going to do any in anything else for this guy here. Well, I think that's going to do it. So let's, let's let's see what introductions he has for us. Okay, so the Alta Mesa Architect offers introductions, which is good. Um, and the Chasen Researcher um, has trait conditioning, which I've never actually used before, but Seems like something that you would want to be able to have access to. Uh, let's 
let's get that rank 2 edict and looks like we can get rank 1 military and I've used all of my personal rep with the prince so everything else is going to have to wait but um, if he stuck in there he hung in there and made it to the end uh, I appreciate you if you want to see more let's play um, make sure you leave a comment or a like um, so I know that uh, I have somebody watching this and um, if you have any suggestions uh, for my gameplay or anything else just uh, let me know we'll see what we can do about it all right uh, yes yeah, so this is pretty signing out